We just picked up our brand new Ineos Grenadier. With the help of my coworkers, we're gonna turn this vehicle from a bone stock truck into an awesome adventure vehicle. Last time you saw us, we installed a bunch of GP Factor products, and today we're gonna to be installing a new suspension and bigger tires. We're gonna be adding iBox springs for the added weight to the vehicle, as well as some taller KO2s for some ground clearance. Let's get started. We've been working on the Grenadier in our showroom for the past couple weeks, but today it's headed into our shop for a new suspension lift. Grenadier is up in the lift. I'm here with Dave. Dave is going to be doing the suspension lift. I feel like it's going to be pretty much just like a Jeep, solid axle, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Pull the shock bottom out, pull this brake line bracket off, possibly the end link. Lower the axle down so I can pull out the spring and put the new one in. And so that's going to give us plenty of droop now when we lower the axle. Mm -hmm. So you're going to loosen the sway bar? Yep. Oh yeah. Dave's next step was to remove the calipers so we can get more out of the brake line. So rather than straining the brake lines, we're going to remove the calipers so then we can really drop the axle. Unplug all this stuff. That's out of the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, so here's our, here's our new spring. There's our stock spring. You can see there's quite the difference between the two. Oh boy. Uh, come this way. Okay. Camera guy. All right, Alex, put it back together. All right, yeah, so now we are going to put <laughs> shock back in place, calipers back in place, get all the lines ran back where they were, and then we'll move on to the back. Yeah, we'll have to tighten the control arms on the ground. Jacking up the axle so we can start bolting the shock back in place, then we'll do the caliper and brake lines, and then we'll do the control arms when we get it on the ground. So we got the springs in, but we're gonna basically put it down, put the axle on jack stands to put the weight of the vehicle on it so we can get the shocks and the control arms back where they belong yep. without being a little teeter-tottery on the lift. We're going with 285, 75s, 17, so a little bit bigger than stock, about a 34. Yeah, so here's our factory one. This is what we're upgrading to. Bump up the tire size just a bit to complement the lift and get this Grenadier sitting pretty. We getting there. Yeah. So now we're getting started on the back. Mm -hmm. Is it looking a lot like the same as the front? Very similar, except the spring doesn't really have a great exit. The track bar's in the way. And the brake line goes under the spring instead of on the outside. Gotcha, so it almost has to come out towards us, but it doesn't leave a lot of room with the track bar mount and the spring and the rear sway bar, so. Oh, well, yeah, we'll start tearing apart and see. Yeah. Right now we're gonna try to give some relief to the brake line, so we're gonna loosen the brake lines, we're gonna loosen the brackets for them so that they're not under any tension because we're gonna need as much slack as we can get to get these springs out. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. So I, I pulled the brake lines out just to give us some more room as we drop the axle to get the spring out. They're not bound up at all. Everything else is loose. Like we already did this, we already loosened the sway bar, we already loosened the brake lines, so Next is going to be control arms and then springs coming out. Okay. This line is like right in the way. The rears are very similar in size, just a different spring rate. Again, these are iBox springs. These will be available soon, so keep an eye out for that, but we're going to get these guys installed. 
Just pull down on the, uh, oh, never mind. Okay, so we got it down on the jack stand so that way we can get the shocks lined back up to get the bolts in and there will be the limiting factor so it doesn't droop out too far when it's back in the air to get all the rest of the components reattached. Yeah, so once the shocks are in place, I'll kind of hold the axle high enough that like the brake lines won't be under stress and we can put those back in place, stuff like that. Exactly. So now we're just getting everything back together. I'm just putting the brakes back on. I'm gonna get some of the stuff tightened on the rack, but most of it's all back together. We tightened our sway bar. We got our shock back in place. We also snugged up the control arms. We're gonna double check those once it gets over to the alignment rack. And now Dave is just working on brake lines, getting the upper and lower bracket of the brake line back in place. Still getting the brakes on here. Getting everything tightened up. Gonna have to do the uh, end links and control arms and track bar on the rack to torque them. You could force it in, but it's better to do it on the ground on at ride height with the vehicle's weight on it. Gotcha. Just about done. Now to put the wheels on and get her on the ground. It wasn't bad, just you had to do a little bit more disassembly than we initially expected, so mm -hmm. it's uh, not terrible, just a little longer of a process. All right, so that's gonna do it for the suspension and tires. We're gonna get this over to the alignment rack and double check everything, and then we're gonna throw an alignment on this thing. Dave, thanks for all your help, man. No problem. So we're gonna get the alignment heads on it, get it up in the air, and uh, retorque all the arms since it just got new springs in, and uh, get it lined up. So these are our alignment heads. Put them on the wheels, get them centered up. Uh, they show our camber caster angles, toe angles, ride height and wheelbase. Uh, gonna get up into the truck, throw it in neutral, and roll it forward to get it compensated. So first thing we did was come to the back of the truck, set the pinion angle, make sure we had a good driveline angle so we have no vibrations going down the road. Now we're gonna go up to the front, I set our caster and our toe. Loosening the lower control arm cam to set our caster. I like where our toe is sitting. We're gonna go up to the truck, see where our steering wheel's at, and set our steering wheel straight. We're off a little bit to the right, so we're gonna go down and adjust that in the drag link. So that's gonna be a wrap. What a build it's been so far, and the ride is amazing. So stay tuned because the next time you see this truck, we're going in a whole different direction. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.